here we are. It's now five o'clock. So let's get this thing rolling. Um, this is the uh, Legislative Matters meeting of October 9th, 2018. Um, I'm Bill Dwight, I'm Counselor at Large and Presiding, and uh, I'm pretty sure there's not going to be any public comment unless Councilor Nash wants to stand as public, but he will be addressing some of the issues that come up on our agenda, so we'll, we'll talk to him as the time merits. Um, Laura, would you please call the roll? Sure. Councillor Dwight. Here. Councillor Carney. Present. Councillor Klein. Here. And Councillor Murphy. Here. Okay. We have a full body here. All right. Um, I'll accept the motion on the approval of the minutes from uh, September 24, 2018. Second. Second. Okay. Any discussion on those minutes? All those in favor of approving them, please say aye. 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 Any opposed or abstentions? So, let's dive right into it. The items referred to this committee, actually some of them will, um, some of them we're not gonna be able to address because they haven't even gone through the other committee, but some of them, as you know, are referred directly out of the last council meeting, but we did put them on the agenda just to, to get them there. Uh, first up, we have item 18.123, this is an ordinance to amend chapter 312-110 of the code book of this referred to the city, uh, to the city council, uh, by the city council to legislative matters of the TPC. In June, um, the recommendation from the TPC is still pending. And um, if you want to put it on the floor so that we can talk to the chair of TPC about that now, uh, I'll accept a motion for that. Move to approve. Second. Okay. Um, Nash? <laughs> You want to break down what's where's the status of this right now? All right, so um, how we got here? Oh, so at the end of September, or we had a September council meeting. This was referred to the TPC. The TPC did not meet in July, uh, but then because of the package of um, ordinances proposed here, we and other things, we planned a G, uh, August meeting, and as the date approached, we were unable to pull together a quorum. So the <coughs> August meeting was canceled. Uh, and then uh, these two items were placed on the agenda for the September meeting, but that agenda didn't get posted. <laughs> so, um, and, uh, and I take responsibility for it. Um, that um, they are to, on the agenda for next week's TPC and uh, that, um, so that's how we got to where we are. The, um, the thing is that these have to do with parking changes in Florence and um, on Strong Avenue. Uh, that um, as, as far as the particulars of them, I haven't had a chance to, to review them quite yet, but uh, they have to do with um, a, uh, on Strong Avenue, it has to do with a change in the parking fee. And, um, and I believe the length of time or the time adding an hour so um, that um, and the city would like to move forward with this quickly because crews are waiting to already do this <laughs> <laughs> the same is true in Florence but that's actually the next article this is uh, item 18.125 is that right? That's the one. Yes. Uh, that's to extend all the hours of allowed parking, basically, uh, that are now one, uh, one hour parking to two hours. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. No, just adds an hour. So it's consistent kind of throughout the city. Right. So the whole, the whole town, <coughs> two hour. village, it will have, should this come to pass and be recommended and go forward through the council and pass, then the proposal is to extend it to double the time for a lot of uh, free parking in downtown Florence. But Why does what we have say three hours? Excuse me? The Strong Avenue one says for two to three hours. Right. It's just the Florence one. Oh, so the Florence, the Florence one, one is, yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. is So Strong Avenue is, is. But we're talking about <coughs> Yeah. And that one's probably the one that is a little more urgent is. Councilor Nash pointed out because they have the equipment and actually as I understand the equipment's already installed. 
<laughs> so it's one of those things where it's unenforceable until such time we we actually turn it into a law and so the mayor's offices express some urgency so there might be an opportunity uh, you're saying you're meeting when next uh tuesday when, when are we proposing the joint hearing with november 13th uh, we can always meet during council have a quick meeting during that's council. true good point mm -hmm. we can meet during council and actually approve in council with a recommendation yeah, for that one yes yeah. yeah okay and florence too i'm thinking florence yeah i would combine the two i would it would have a brief little hiatus another recess mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. does that sound reasonable to everybody oh november 1st okay. yeah yeah. So or no, actually, the 18th or something? Yes. Oh, the 18th. No, 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 next week. Yes, they'll, yeah. be yeah. they'll be done. They'll be done. Yeah. Oh, well, we just lost August in a heartbeat like that. I was trying to wonder. It's not November 1st already. <laughs> All right. So, um, I have one. Yeah. One more thing to add about these parking changes. They're part of the overall parking plan, which we've already, the city council and the city has already approved. The, the, the idea was to roll it out in increments, and that's what this is. This is another <coughs> increment of the, the plan and, plan and putting it in place. So, um, nothing revolutionary here. Right, this is really, you know, are we ready to take the next step? Here's what it looks like, here we go. That's what it is. All right, so that's on the floor, but then what well, looks up the motion to uh, uh, postpone until uh, the next council meeting. Hopefully, then we can have a special meeting then. And that's who do you want to postpone both items? Right? Get both items, I guess. Yes. I'd move that. Okay. Is there a second? For purposes of discussion. Second. Sure, sure. Okay, so for purposes of discussion of, of that recommendation. Oh, I thought you were trying to say something. Uh, <laughs> she was. She was. I saw I saw it. A long time ago. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so that would not allow the city council to act on it at the next October 18th meeting. They would not be able to act until November 1st then because they couldn't, the full council couldn't have first reading until after it was referred by legislative matters. So no, we, we, it's we, still we, do that, we do that with financial. Yeah, uh, yeah. 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 Put it on the agenda. Put it on the yeah. agenda. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. And we um, just have to have our, <coughs> have to work it out. With the legislative matter. So we'll have to be before. We're done yeah. before we get to the ordinance. The right. agenda would read recess for. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Don't put it after. And then to no take up just the first. So we could do the first reading and possibly two readings there. Can I ask a procedural question about? Um, so we're we're not willing to take a vote on this because we want to hear what the TPC is recommending first. We're, we're the last bite of the apple. We have to have we have to have input from all the previous committees before we vote this but committee. May I also anywhere, anywhere else it should be heard. The, the council president and I reviewed that rule. It's two point six point one point four, and it says that the legislative matters may choose to be the last committee to review a matter when it's been referred to other committees. So it's not required. You're oh. able to exercise discretion to act before you receive the other recommendation. And, it, it's, and it's, he said, uh, so Ryan said he didn't it could have. potentially be precedent setting, despite the fact that it's not the against the rule, right? right. Um, but this matter seems to me to be so kind of um, vanilla. Basic, yes, yes <laughs> that that it doesn't feel very controversial to me, and I wonder if we could just proceed and put in our recommendation, especially since it's already on the, essentially in the process infrastructurally it doesn't require any rule change no it doesn't it's not it's not violation could we move it subject to approval at transportation parking we that could and respect and the fact that they still have to sign on yes we could and then and here's a pop that here's not likely to happen, but suppose transportation parking either comes forward without a recommendation or doesn't <coughs> do the recommendation, but in which case ours won't stand any. Right. Yeah, but that would be doing right. it again. Yeah. Right. And in this that. case, if we're looking at whether legislatively it's kosher or not, I think we can go ahead and do that based on the information that we have. Okay. So I would make the um, I would make a motion that we. Um, 
Okay, well that's already a standing motion. motion that's already a standing motion, and actually uh, I'd ask you to include 18.125 in that. Originally the motion only so was maybe the floor for 18.123. Yeah, if you want to move them both as a group for discussion, so we want to move them together. And would you be comfortable with just the reference to subsequent approval by transportation or parking? Um, except we just said that there could that could be a little bit of an issue if they move could be. But if they don't, I mean, the only issue is that if they don't, then ours doesn't, <coughs> our recommendation doesn't stand. The council doesn't right. get a recommendation. But subject from it, yeah. to the recommendation coming mm -hmm. from transportation. Maybe the chair could tell them that it would really make things nice if they did recommend them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. All right, now discussion on the two items. Are there any questions or thoughts of discussion on the two items? It would be nice to have them done. It would be, it would be nice to have them done. Since June. Uh, since, since June, and um, yeah, I think, that, you know, I don't know, uh, had, has TPC discussed at all the expansion of hours in Florence? At any point during the, we have not discussed any of this. But I mean, not just based on these ordinances, but have you heard testimony or anything from any any department that's? No. The, the only question I have that I don't know if you have the answer to, Jim, or anyone else does, but it says uh, for one, two, three, the Strong Avenue one, entire lot except for portions of the lot facing rear of the building. So are they remaining at two hours? The 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 spots facing the rear of the buildings and. Why? That's a great question, and I will look into that. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, the, unfortunately, both of these ordinances come do not come with diagrams or maps. So essentially, our information that we have is, that, uh, as we understand, it, it's just increase in time, a lot of time for parking, or a lot of time for parking. Uh, in the case of Florence, doubling to two hours from one hour, and in the case of Strong Avenue, moving it from two hours to three hours. With the exception of particular. Right, with, with an interesting <laughs> exception, because right. it didn't specify the building. <laughs> it just says the building. Facing rear buildings. There's a few. Numerous buildings. Yeah, they, the, you go around the corner, and those are over by the building. Oh, right, that's, that's <coughs> our lot. That's yeah, right. back up to the Strong Avenue. That's right. And the buildings of Pleasant Street, too. So did you just answer the question? I'm just curious about why and if it's not going to be confusing to people who are parking there. Well, it'll be marked, hopefully, presumably. The hours will be posted. But so I'm assuming that those ones will remain two hours and everything else is three. Right, because they are, at least it's mentioned as the exception, so. Okay. Um, Yeah, I, so I don't know, I mean, maybe we have, I mean, we don't have a lot of information other than the only thing we know is that there's an increase in classification for hours. That's it. We don't know the reason. We don't know. I mean, I can, I can speculate, but I don't, that's particularly good. But we're going to remove a memo from the DPW or the mayor's office if this is a request would certainly be helpful. Um, but. You know, I ran into Nancy Forrestall. I was just going to say, can run and get her. <laughs> in the case of um, the Strong Avenue lot, it, that, uh, moving it from two to three hours is to mirror the change that was made in the Masonic Street and another lot. I forget the, where the other lot was. It, it's trying to have them consistent. Probably the Army Street lot. And those mm -hmm. have already been approved, I guess, the increase in time limit. Got it. So this is just to make everything consistent. Yeah, consistent. Got it. Okay. Not sure about All right. Now at least we know the end of this. So, um, I don't know. Is anyone comfortable to make uh, to advance this with the, rec the recommendation qualified as Council Murphy described, pending a decision from TPC? I already did actually. Yeah. Nobody's second. Well, well, second. <laughs> We're all happy. Everyone's second. Okay, so. That's our natural second. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> so, any further discussion on this item? All right, all those in favor of approving or recommending these two proposed ordinances uh, contingent upon 
uh, an affirmative recommendation from TPC, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. All right, so that spares us, hopefully, the special meeting in, 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 in within the council. Okay, so now let's move to Union Street. This is item 18.172. This is an ordinance relative to the parking on Union Street. There is a diagram of this, as you can see. Did this come just to us, or did this also go to? It's kind of weird. Did, you, did this get referred to TPC? No, it came. It was came out of TPC. Came out of TPC. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay. okay. All right. Good. Upon the recommendation. All right. <clears throat> so um, yes, and this is actually, as I understand it, to create a 15-minute parking space on Union Street. Is that the gist of this the special time parking? I actually know what's going on with this one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but it is okay. So what, what it's saying? This is changing uh, uh, Chapter Three Twelve Dash One Hundred Four Schedule Three Limited Time Parking on Union Street on the southeasterly side. Fifteen minutes from eight a.m. to six p.m. Monday through Saturday. Well, that's a point one hundred thirty-five feet southwesterly from Parkman Street, and to a point one hundred sixty feet south southwesterly from Parkman Street. Uh, I'll accept the motion to put it on the floor. So moved. So yes, everyone everyone moved. moved it and everyone seconded it. Okay. Uh, Council Nash. Sure. So uh, there's a uh, there's a photos here, diagrams, if yeah. people want to pull those up. So um, this is part of it, so I have had lots of complaints about the parking at pick up and drop off at Bridge Street School. And this is one of the many little incremental things that I'm looking to adjust um, uh, around the school so that parents can have better access uh, for pick up and drop off. In this particular spot, you, you, if you look at the, 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 the photos, you can see that all of the part, there's, on the right you see the, um, the entrance to Bridge Street School. And you can see how that all of the parking spaces there are taken up by staff cars. That continues as you go into the parking lot. And so what will happen for parents is they're coming to pick up a sick child, drop off a child after a dentist appointment, drop off lunch, homework, whatever. They don't have a, a quick place to pull over and, and, and do that. And also what will happen here is that uh, during the morning, uh, this is one of the spots where parents will pull up to drop their children off. And this is one of the places that we actually want parents doing that, uh, rather than over on uh, Parsons Street. So initially I was hoping for at least two spaces here, but uh, DPW went out and measured, and the best we can come up with is one. And uh, so that's how we got here and uh, it uh, came out of the TPC with a positive recommendation and um, has been sent to you guys. Okay. Any questions, discussion, council plan? So the, the need for this because um, residents or school staff are parking along Union Street and so there aren't places available? So it could be residents, it could be, uh, and, and it could be school staff um, are, are parking along Union Street. And so the ideal place for parents to be actually dropping off their children, because they can actually walk up the, the, the sidewalk, go across the crosswalk and walk up the sidewalk. Um, yeah, so a lot of times those spaces are full. So hence they end up on Lamp Run Park and but it's not metered anyway, so it's not just metered. keep anybody from leaving their car there all day. Uh, enforcement would be going out to check. But what Council Murphy's saying is currently you're allowed to park there all day if you want. Currently you can park yeah. there all day. Yeah. Or just keep them moving so that the space is free. Yeah, just right. to rotate that space. So you know. <clears throat> right. Yeah. There's because there's no other limitations. But there's no ordinance relative to any of the other on, on that side of the street relevant to parking. Right. Other than standard street parking. And there's parking only on that side of the street, not right. on the other side, right? Correct. 
So this would actually be an enforced spot, similar to what we have here. So, any other questions or discussion? I mean, I, I actually think this makes perfect sense. Mm -hmm. So, so. I, I'd actually like to. I, I maybe I'd like to amend this, and I, I don't know if we how I would do that. Do I do that here, or does it have to go well, back to council? Would, you can't amend it. We can amend. Okay, so I I have we'll a request then. Yeah. My request would be. So what I asked um, parking for was what is typically enforced for a 15 minute space, and what came back was Monday through Saturday. And that um, that that wouldn't be required in this case. It would only Friday. be Monday through Friday, and so I would I, I would like to see that change. Oh, it would make sense. They'll have to make a brand new sign since all the rest of them said Monday through Saturday. That's true. It's not the other. Actually, I'm not sure yet. if the 15 minute spot specify the days. It's just that that's when our parking enforcement is. Some do, yeah. As I recall, yeah. Some do. Okay. So Sunday, no, I would move that amendment before okay. we vote on it. So technically, is that a problem because we're making a recommendation on something that's different than what the TPC has made its recommendation on? It's up for the council to decide between the two, the two versions. But we can, we do have the authority to make amendments mm -hmm. in legislative matters. Yeah. So. Especially when it's such an obvious, you know, there's, there's a reason for the space, right. and that reason is Monday through Friday, and that neighborhood would show sure that the space back on Saturday and Sunday, I'm sure. And what about the summer months? Not <clears throat> <laughs> to, to throw in July and August. <laughs> Excellent observation. Yeah. Maybe we just don't enforce something like that. It's, it's discretionary, so. But currently, uh, Councilor Murphy's amendment proposal is to change the category that says 15 minutes 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Saturday to amend it to Monday through Friday. Exactly. And is there a second? Second. Okay. Any discussion on further discussion on the amendment? All those in favor of the amendment, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. All right. Now to the regular <laughs> order. Uh, any further discussion? All, all those in favor of the amended <coughs> uh, amended ordinance of 18.172, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. So that goes forward with a positive recommendation as amended. We can explain the amendment on the floor. And then this is another one that actually just it was referred from the last meeting. It's this I suspect will probably generate some public interest. And the, I, the TPC, I would assume, is taking this up in the next meeting? Yes. This is to uh, adjust the charges. Um, and you probably read the mayor's letter for the, the Gare Park and Garage. So. Does um, this also this go to finance, too? It would make sense. I mean, as I recall. I don't recall if it went. I don't. Yeah. It should. It, it, I mean, this was particularly uh, Council Member One Freeman Daniels, former Council Member Three, remember, was and Council Member Jesse Adams, former Council Member Large, were both um, particularly concerned with any modifications and any doings with the garage uh, be fully vetted by finance and uh, as well as the council. So, so again, we would be. Taking it up before finance. I think this won't be premature for us with this. I think proactively, it, yeah, yeah. I think this, I, I suspect the public will probably have something to say. Anytime you do a parking fee increase, there's always something. So I think it would be it would be appropriate for us to address it. <clears throat> so um, I'll accept a motion to postpone addressing this issue until such time as we've heard from the other committees, including finance. Has it been referred to finance? Uh, yeah. So we would have to have it reintroduced to council and for, for referral? Yeah. Okay. Motion to postpone. Is there a second? Second. Okay, all those in favor of postponing, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. 
That is our meeting BP agenda. Is there another motion? One last motion. Motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Thank you all. I mean, I don't know.